We are starting to see a drop in temperatures today. We will be heading back to average. We aren't really dealing with much precipitation wise. We do see a lot of snow though. There's a low pressure system up by the Great Lakes producing some snowfall up to the Great Lakes, even into the New England area. If you look closely, a little bit's trying to make its way down into our area. Not impacting most of us, only impacting mainly Greenbrier and Pocahontas County. Already looking to dissipate as it continues to be more to the east. Seeing a little bit of light snow flurries up there, but most of the area is just dealing with some overcast skies this morning. And also dealing with some breezy conditions. Berks Gardens picking up a wind gust right now of 33 miles per hour. Withville is picking up a wind gust of 30 miles per hour. So throughout today, we're going to continue to see these breezy conditions coming out of the west hitting about 25 miles per hour for most. But overnight tonight, they're going to ramp up even more, becoming more intense. We see the pinks and the purples. That means higher wind speeds exceeding 35 miles per hour, heading up to that 40, 50 mile per hour range, especially for the ridges, higher elevations. Most of the area will see wind gusts hitting about 30 miles per hour, though. Temperatures right now to start the morning, we're feeling much cooler than what we have been seeing. Most of us are starting off the day in the 30s. We do have a few places, though, only into the 40s for us right now. Not going to have much temperature fluctuation throughout today. Most of us will only have our highs into the lower 40s and the upper 30s. Now, I do have to say, two years ago, we did have our high temperature in Bluefield only hitting 14 degrees. Last year, we were much warmer than that, hitting 64 degrees. This year, we're right back to average. We'll only be in the lower 40s. Some places are going to be stuck in the upper 30s for today. We do have a potential to still see a little bit of light snowfall over to western Greenbrier County and Pocahontas County. Most of us, though, are not really going to see anything throughout today. I don't even think these areas will hold on to snow even by 10 a.m., but this model is showing that. As we progress into tonight, though, it does look like we'll have another chance for another round of a little bit of some light snow to make its way into the area. First impacting our northern counties, then it's going to become more widespread, glide down after midnight to impact portions of the western slope. So west of Bluefield, best potential to see a little bit of some light snowfall and some snow flurries overnight tonight. We will have temperatures dipping down too. We'll be back into the lower 30s by midnight into the freezing level of 32 degrees. And then tomorrow morning we'll still wake up to that too. A little bit of light snowfall is possible, but most of us should see dry conditions as we head into tomorrow morning. Partly sunny skies are going to be in place for us throughout New Year's Day. Temperatures once again are going to be like today's only into the lower 40s. So looking at the model data for the snow, nothing impressive by any means. Most of the area will just see a trace amount. If that little to no accumulation is possible, or likely for New Year's Eve tonight. Here's a look at your hour planner if you're doing any festivities. 8 p.m. We'll already have temperatures in the middle 30s by the ball drop will be into the lower 30s with that potential for a little bit of light snowfall, mainly on the western slopes. For New Year's Day tomorrow, temperatures are going to mimic today, still only holding into the lower 40s. So we do have chances of precipitation basically for the whole seven day forecast. Today and tomorrow actually look to be the driest day so far with just a 20% chance for some light snow showers.